Pisces, let's see what you must know now. We're gonna be using a couple of Oracle decks today. Any information that you also may be looking for will be listed in the description. So just check there and let's see what's going on. So first card we have is grounding my energy. So what you must know now from your spiritual team, it's essential that you're taking care of yourself. There's going to be clear signs over the next couple of weeks or so that you have to take care of your personal energy, whether that's getting back into the gym or getting into the gym, being mindful of what you're eating, being mindful of the energy that's around you, okay? Also, if you've been just going through a lot of stuff emotionally, there may be times that you have to take a step back to really work through this, and that's okay. If, if that's what you need to do, then that's what it shall be. But in order for you to be your best self, Pisces, especially with you being a water sign, because it will always manifest through your emotions when you're not your best self, you, you gotta take care of you. Okay. Also with embodying my soul. Mm, so this is understanding the, the wiring of how you operate. Certain people are not going to gel with that. And that is okay. <laughs> that is okay. But having to change yourself, conform or switch up how you move for someone else is not the move. Now, it's one thing if you are changing for the better, but with embodying your soul, there could be somebody who you guys have around you who it's too many changes or too many things that you have to change about yourself in order for you guys to kind of understand each other or in order for there to be a connection in the first place. Okay. Or if not a relationship, this could be a job where you're having to change who you are and it's just not like you. Or, you know, and there may be a desire for you to be in a career where you're able to really shine that part of yourself who you truly are. Like whether that's your, your through your talents, through sharing a message, okay? But the more that you are feeling this desire to kind of lean into something that more so showcases who you are. And it's 11-11 as I'm saying this. So this is definitely a message for someone. Um, the more that you feel this desire to step into something that's more authentic and allows you to do this, this is a sign from your spiritual team that it's time for you to lean into this. Also have overcoming fear. So yes, uh, some of you could be fearful of making some sort of sacrifice or a big change in your life. And that fear could be holding you back from elevating your life or stepping into a whole new chapter. So really ask yourself when it comes to whatever your fears may be, is your fear rooted in fact? Or is your fear rooted in more so illusion? Or the belief of things going wrong or negativity? Okay, it's one thing if you're thinking objectively, it's another thing when you're basing your decisions or the lack of making a decision off of fear of the unknown. But how could something be bad for you or, okay, when it comes to something that could be good for you, what exactly is there to be fearful about? And that's the question you really have to ask yourself, but... Let's keep going. We have one ring circus. So this talks about independence. This is the card of doing things all on your own and also knowing that you're capable and competent in doing this, doing whatever you're trying to achieve. So what your spiritual, uh, your spiritual team wants you to know is that they're putting you in situations to show you that you're capable and competent. If you've been having to do a lot of things on your own, This could be because spirit is like intentionally trying to show you like, look, you're capable of doing it, especially with Saturn being in your sign. You're really having to take on a huge level of responsibility. Okay, but yeah, this is a sign that you're capable of moving forward and that you have a lot that you can rely on yourself for, especially in moments where other people are not that reliable. 
okay? We also have Bone Collector. And the Bone Collector does talk about you having everything that you need and not needing to search outside of yourself for things to feel capable or competent, like the um, One Ring Circus talks about. Okay, and there's also letting go of past conditioning. Spirit wants you to know that there's certain past conditionings that you don't need to hold on to anymore. Okay, you don't have to behave a certain way or do things a certain way because your past is your past. So you don't have to approach love the same way. You don't have to approach your finances in the same way because things are different. And you never want to limit yourself in terms of perception. Okay, let's keep going. What do my Pisces need to know now? Okay, so we have abundance. So yes, uh, with abundance here, again, this goes right into what I was saying with the Bone Collector card. You have more than enough. You are somebody who naturally is abundant. There's nothing that you need to have or a special quality that you don't have already to attract what you desire. And abundance is not just about money. I always say this all the time. Abundance is about a lot of whatever it may be. But it's, it's knowing that you are enough, starting with knowing that you're enough. We also have Butterfly. I love this card because you guys know Mystical Crystal Tarot started off as a butterfly logo. Um, and butterflies just kind of run deep in my family. We love butterflies. Anywho, um, with Metamorphosis showing up here, Transcendence is the energy you're in, okay? You're transcending one version of self and you're stepping into a new version. And with that happening, as a, a snake sheds its skin, there's the skin that must go. So that a new shiny skin or, you know, pattern can show. So in this change, what's happening here, a lot of you have already went through this change. It's just kind of accepting that, again, you're in a different space. You're in a different energy. So it doesn't call for you to act out of the same conditioning. And it's time to break free from that. Okay, we also got the 22 here, the number 22. We also have dice, which represents chance. And we have phrases, which represents motivation. Hmm. Yeah. In order for you guys to see more money, more of an ab abundant relationship. You guys are going to have to go out of your comfort zone, especially with chance showing up here. Okay, you could have a chance of a lifetime that's right up under your nose. And some of you guys have been just kind of running away from it. And the more that you kind of shy away from this opportunity, you could be really doing yourself a disservice. So it's important that you're being your source of motivation. If you have certain people around you who don't support you, and that could be making you scared to like go out on a whim, this is not the time to be worrying about other people's opinion or whether or not it will be successful. This is taking the chance and, and allowing whatever happens to happen. And that's the approach you want to have. But... This is what I see. I hope that this did give you insight on what spirit wants you to know. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.